God Star Anise and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you beauties how to create this look using the new Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. And if you could see this gorgeous goddess here on the um, top of the palette was kind of like my inspiration for this look. I started off trying to do something subtle and then it just got totally out of hand. Now this palette just came out. It retails for $35 but there are um, some Instagrammers and YouTubers that have 10% discount codes and the codes are good for the new items on the Juvia's uh, Place website. I didn't have any issues with the shipping and ordering. It came really, really fast. Um, and everything was intact when I got it, so no issues here. And I think that's about it. I did use some other goodies from Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Palette, um, Volume 2. I really, really like their products. I don't have anything bad to say about their products. There are a couple of palettes that I well, one palette that I wasn't fond of, but for the most part, they have really, really great eyeshadow palettes and really great pigment in the eyeshadows. So sit back, relax, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get started on this beautiful blue goddess look. Yes, honey. So I did my brows off camera, and I'll leave a link down below to my brow routine. And then I'm starting off with the color Nana, 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 is that how you say it? And I'm using that as my transition color. Now I'm going to use my NYX Vivid Brights in the color Rebellious Edge as my eyeshadow base. So I'm putting this all over my lid and a little bit above my crease and then I'm just rubbing it in with my fingers. Now using the Magic Palette, I'm going in with the color Iffy. I think that's what that is. And I'm just patting this color all over my lid. This color is so pretty and amazing. It's like, I don't know, it has like dimensions to it. It's not like blue, it has purple, but then a little pink to it. It's a really, really gorgeous matte color. And I'm pressing that all over my lid. Now this look does require a lot of blending. So I took my blending brush and I put just a little bit of this color on there and I'm blending the top of it um, out so there aren't any really harsh edges but I did spend a lot of time blending this color out. Then I'm going back in with the Nana color, I guess that's how you say it, and I am blending from my brow bone just to where the blue color stops. And again, this looks like a lot of blending, so I don't have it all filmed on here for the sake of time, but if it's not looking right when you're trying to recreate it, just keep blending and it will, it will start looking really, really nice. For my wings, I used my Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner in matte black. And you really couldn't see it on this look um, because the eyeshadow is so dark. So if you want to skip this step, you can. To color correct, I used my ABH Cream Contour Kit and I'm using the color Warm Coral. And I'm putting that under my eyes and anywhere else I have any kind of um, discoloration. And then for my foundation, of course, I'm using my AJ Crimson Cream Foundation. And this is in the colors 3 and 4. And I probably wouldn't suggest this foundation if you have really oily skin, but this is a gorgeous um, foundation for women of color and it really gives you a beautiful finish. Now I'm going in with the 
AJ Crimson Foundation in the color 1.5 and I'm using that as my highlight under my eyes. To contour, I'm using the AJ Crimson Foundation in the color 7. To set under my eyes, I'm using my Beauty Bakery Flower in the color yellow. For my waterline, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Liner, and this is supposed to be really waterproof. It's okay, but I have yet to find something that I could put on my waterline that didn't really bleed. Then I'm going in with this color here, Faso, I think that's what you call it. And I'm putting that right on my waterline just to add a little sparkle to the look. So for my highlight, I'm using my Beauty Bakery So Icy Illuminator and this is in the color Ice. And this is a really gorgeous um, illuminator. It is powdery but it looks really nice on. So you do have to press when you're applying this illuminator. Then I'm going in with the color Yara from the Saharan Blush Palette. And this is volume two. And I use this color because I didn't want the blush to overpower the look since the eyes and the lips are gonna be so dramatic. For my lips, I'm using my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick, and this is in the color Jet Set. Um, it wasn't as dark as I thought it would be, but it still really made um, this look pop. Of course, this is something very dramatic. It's not everyday wear, but it looked really gorgeous on. So this is the final look beauties. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.